hello everyone so this is the start of my brand new series tutorial series on creating a third person shooter game so just like my other series based on open world RPG game so I will show each and every step of development of this game and you can check my videos and learn how do I create each of them and you can follow along because I'm using mostly free assets and yeah so the first episode is how to import this character this is a Mixamo character I'm going to import this character I'm going to download this character from Mixamo and I'm going to add a root bond to that character because by default Mixamo does not support Unreal root bond root animation system root motion animation system so I'm going to add a root bond using the blender plugin some blender plugin that I have already shown you in my other series but I will show it here now also and then yeah that's all for this episode and this is how it looks inside the game let's get started and this uh, third person shooter series is sponsored by uh, this generous patreon thank you very much for the support you are giving me okay so this is the character I'm going to use I'm going to get it from Mixamo and so let's find an animation initially I only need the idle animation Let's see right let's select this one for now okay and I'm I'll download this with a skin FBX yeah settings are like this and since this is a mixamo character this will have the mixamo rig but in order to work with root motion this rig does not work in unreal and in later on i may need to use animations with uh, the root motion support so therefore i am going to use uh, this blender plugin i will put a link to a video link to this video in the description below so this video explains how to use this mix some uh, this blender plugin and add root bone to mix some more characters that's not very complex so by doing that you will be able to use that character with root motion enabled animations and this is the plugin I'm going to use okay so I have downloaded this idle animation into this folder I'll name this one soldier and let's go to blender so here when you have installed that plugin you will get this mix some more tab so for the input path I'll give this one and accept for the output path I'll go to the same one and let's create a yeah, let's create a new folder here and accept now for these settings uh, under this advanced options I'll disable this use Z so the vertical motion will not be transferred to the root bone and press batch convert now you can see this soldier FBX uh, the character with the root bone in the output folder so I'll go back to my project the unreal project so this is the scene I'm going to use 
this is called military base an asset you can purchase in the marketplace and yeah uh, so if you buy my uh, if you have my membership in the patreon but uh, i will not include this asset in the source code because i don't own this own the rights to do that so i will only in a, add the character in other scene but uh, this is only for how to demo only for demonstration purposes in this tutorial but you will have access to all the character blueprints and other codes that i develop okay so with that said i'll create a new folder characters under character uh, characters i create a new folder soldier and let's import this soldier here i yeah this is a skeletal mesh import mesh i'll keep these things as default values and press import wait i think i forgot to enable import animation stick so i'll delete this and import again yeah remember to enable this import animation tick and i'll give animated time even though the other option would work okay so this is the character shaders are compiling still and here is an animation wait it seems i have forgotten to import textures this time so i'll delete this again this is becoming a habit and import again oh wait 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 a minute wait a minute no actually this one is 25 and this one is 2 so that means all right this is correct it that model does not contain the textures so we are gonna have to get the textures from this model okay so let's create another folder called text and here I'll import this the model before adding the root bone I'll import it as a normal mesh and actually no I don't need to import, import it I can get the textures from this folder all right okay so these are the textures and let's go to the model and this is the body I'll go to this folder and get body diffuse body normal and body specular I'll import these three into this text this material and this is body diffuse connected to base color and this is body specular connected to specular and this is normal connected to normal and I'll convert these two parameters this one is base this one is spec and 
this one is normal and save and apply okay now what about the other materials this one also uses the body material so I'll drag and drop that here and the other part is the head actually for the head also we have the same material setup diffuse specular and normal therefore I'll rename this one to soldier body and I'll create an instance of this material and I'll name it mi soldier head and here I'll just override these textures we can work on the detailed material setups later for now i will only set up the basic material so things like subsurface scattering and sweat and everything we can work on them later apply and i'll use this material for this slot like this right now we have the soldier here and also let me show you quickly the skeleton and it has the root bone here which does not come by default from Mexamo animations Mexamo rig okay so now we have completed the we have successfully imported the soldier model into our project let's quickly check an animation that is also working and all right so let's quickly add this character into the C level and see how it looks okay this is him in the game and right so I'll stop this episode here and in the next time let's see how to set up character movement and animation blueprints and camera and everything and I'll stop here for today and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club right here link would be in the description below and also i'll upload a source code update soon and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye